Bring it in, grasshopper. What's up, socials? Happy Sexy Wednesday. I got a question from a friend of mine, Mr. John. Hello, John. He wanted to know how to get on the right people's radar to get more speaking gigs. This is so funny that I'm getting this question because I feel like I was asking someone else this question like not that long ago. What I recently discovered and probably already knew but should have been doing and it didn't really occur to me is that if you actually put something out into the world and talk about it and talk about your interest in it and how you actively do it and would like to do it more people will approach you with that very thing I really really enjoy talking to a camera but Something I enjoy even more than that is actually engaging with people in person because I love to take somebody by their situation and just be like oh This is what's wrong with you. Let me help you fix it It's so much better when there's actually someone standing here. And that's what speaking allows me to do. So when I realized like, man, I wish I was being offered to do this more often, maybe I should talk about it, suddenly things started happening. So I've recently been asked to speak at three major events I'm so excited to tell you about. First event, chronologically, not necessarily first that asked, ironically, was from Nick Westergaard with the Social Brand Forum in Coralville, Iowa. So excited about this event, like, this is major, there's like a big stage, and I'm gonna be standing on it and talking to people about what I have to say, and like, that is the coolest thing for a narcissist. I'm just kidding, I'm not a narcissist. I'm actually just brilliant. But that was just a relationship that I've had for a long time. I love the Work Talk show, and he's a co-host on there with DJ Waldo, another great friend of mine. And all of a sudden they were like, hmm, who knows about video? Let's get somebody to talk about that. Oh, I know someone. You. You. Will you do it? Will you. Will you do it? So that's how that worked. And then there is Social Media Success Summit, which is really cool because it's an online conference and I don't have to leave my bedroom, which is, come on, that's even better than standing on a stage. A lot of people would actually think that. But this is a great opportunity because it's in front of the social media examiner audience who I've never really had an opportunity to talk to before, and that just came from introducing myself many, 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 many times to Mike Stelzner, and all of a sudden he was like, I know. Let's get her. So scientific. But truly, just by mingling and talking to people at different events and online and tweeting and all that kind of stuff, and them seeing your content and your content's good and it's exactly what they need, we connect the dots. What I don't know what this is. That was supposed to be dots connecting. And then there's the one that I'm probably the most excited about because I never leave my country and this is going to make me get out of that bubble. Tropical Think Tank by Chris Ducker in the Philippines. I just keep calling it the Philippines because I can't remember city names. So just I'm just gonna be in all of the Philippines. Let's just, that's it. This was truly just a video creator to video creator uh, appreciation. You know, Chris watched my videos, liked my videos. I liked his videos, online friends. Yay, videos! And then he's like, hey, I got this really cool event. It kicked ass this year. We wanted to do that again next year so we can charge more money. So would you like to speak? And I was like, uh, are you calling the right person? And then he said, yes. And then I said, yes. And it's all because of great content and people that appreciate people putting value out into the world, building online relationships that turn into real life relationships, and then turning that into a really, really cool milestone for your business and your life. So these are really exciting events that I have coming up and that's literally how all of those events came my way. Yes, you can absolutely apply to speak at different events and I've done that as well. Some of them work out and some of them don't. But it's the same kind of thing when you're like applying for a job on Monster. You know who gets the job? The person that knows the guy that's hiring or somebody that knows the guy that knows the guy. It's never the guy on Monster. But I hope that helps you, John, and everyone else who is thinking about opportunities they would like more of in their business and maybe all you had to do was start talking about it a little bit more and letting the people in your network know that those are what your aspirations are. A little bit of vulnerability actually gets people a very, very, very long way. That's all for today, socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. This has been your Sexy Wednesday episode and it is brought to you by our official sponsor, Bluehost. If you're getting a website and you need it to work properly and on the cheap, but not cheap in terms of customer service, you need to go to SavvySexySocial.com slash Bluehost, as if 
I was a host that was also a Smurf. Just visualize that, you won't forget the URL, okay? Go check them out, you'll be supporting the show, and you'll be supporting your amazing website once you've got it up and running. I will see you tomorrow for Social Thursday, but if you're worried that you're gonna lose track of all the content that I create here because it's a lot, Make sure you sign up for Amy's Elite so you don't miss a beat. That link is in the annotation below. It's also in the description if you're a description person or if you're watching this on SavvySexySocial.com, it's in the sidebar. So just type in your information and then you'll be signed up. It's that simple. Like what, what else, what else did you need? There's a lot of traffic outside today. Sorry! Also, a lot of coffee. <laughs>